As the train wormed its way to the head of the yard, I thought it was either going to go switch other industries or call it a day. But boy howdy, was I in for a surprise. Today we find ourselves at a Union Pacific yard, with a small local going to switch some industry about a mile away. I never rail fan this area because traffic is slow here. There's only about 10 trains per day, but today I lucked out and caught this little local. It's only got one engine, which I thought was odd. When I was driving over these tracks, I wondered when the last time a train had been down them, because the right of way is in pretty rough shape, but I guess I got my answer. With my camera all set up, I was able to catch this local coming back to the yard. The spur it's running on is pretty short, and there's only one industry on there. The little jeep is coming back long hood forward, something I've never seen on BNSF trackage. As the train wormed its way to the head of the yard, I thought it was either going to go switch other industries or call it a day, but boy howdy, was I in for a surprise. The locals started kicking cars. This is a method of sorting cars used by many railroads. What happens is the engineer gooses the throttle and then slams on the brakes. Just before the brake is applied, a person on the ground uncouples the desired cars and they drift under their own momentum to their assigned train. Kicking cars is a huge time saver because you can send one cut of cars to multiple trains from one spot. And there's not a lot of back and forth switch flipping rigmarole. It's just revving the engine and letting the car go. I think one downside of kicking cars is that once you uncouple them from the train, there's no stopping them, and the speed at which they roll is kind of uncontrolled. Listen to how hard some of these cars hit. The good news is that rail cars are built for this, and the draft gear on the coupler helps to mitigate rough impacts. When all the cars were in place, the train crew reversed the engine to the head of the yard and parked it. With all the work done, it was time to call it a day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out some other ones of mine. Till next time.